Hello and welcome to the Blue Apron Cooking Show. I'm your host, Daisy. Today we are making roasted chicken and mixed mushrooms with crispy rosemary orange salad and chipotle pan sauce. Looks delicious. First things first, we gotta do some prep. I'm gonna start with the rosemary. All we need to do here is just take off the leaves. No chopping. Okay. Next, we're gonna chop some mushrooms. Our beautiful mushroom medley. This guy, you just chop up like crazy. Just a rough chop. I'm gonna get rid of that stem part. And our creminis. I maybe quarter those. Collard greens are next. I watched the Blue Apron tutorial on how to get these off the stems really easily, and it was very helpful. An easy way to cut all these at once is line them up with a bunch of layers. Hold those layers. And slice down the middle. Chop them all together. Voila! Nice rough chop. Time to get some orange zest. Easiest way, zester. If you don't have a zester, go buy one. That's good enough. Okay. Scoop that up. Knees and cloths is what we're doing. Got my collard greens, got my zest. Oh, gotta cut up the orange. Cut off each end. That way you've got flat surface to for it to sit on. And then you just slowly cut away the pith. You see I didn't get enough there. I'm gonna go over it again. That's better. So now we'll cut it in half. Looks like a nice seedless orange. Love that. Now my cutting board's all juicy. Let's clean it. The last thing we need to prep is the chipotle pepper. I like to do it last because it's the messiest. I'm not supposed to rinse it, am I? No. Cut little strips lengthwise, and then we'll run our knife through it in the opposite direction, and we've got the fine chop. Now we are very messy, so we must wash our hands, our knife, and our cutting board. One for cleanliness, but two because the full plate is hot. And that is our prep done. Alright, time to fry up some rosemary. So we want to heat a thin layer of oil. Gonna add our rosemary, but not yet. That oil needs to get hot. So we wait. We're on step two. Come on, follow along. So we're gonna fry up our rosemary one minute to 30 seconds or until crispy and fragrant. That's probably hot enough. Yep. The sizzle. That's what you want. And I have my paper towel ready for when we're done. It's fragrant. It's getting crispy. I don't think I'm gonna to need to go a minute. The other thing we're doing here is creating rosemary olive oil. It's going to flavor the rest of the ingredients that we put in here and cure it. We did go a minute. Probably shouldn't be using metal on my nonstick pan, but being gentle. Rosemary is crispy. Next, we're throwing the chicken and the mushrooms into the oven. I need to reference my instructions here. I need to season the chicken. I didn't do that yet. We've got some beautiful chicken skin on this chicken. Fresh pepper. Both sides. Trying not to touch the pepper with my chicken on hand. Now we want to get some good crispy skin on there. My pan's heating back up with the nice rosemary olive oil. Chicken is seasoned. And the instructions say to 
transfer skin side up. No, not that. <laughs> Add the chicken skin side down, cook six to eight minutes, and then we're gonna transfer it to the oven. I think that's nice and hot. Sure. Okay. Well, that's doing its thing. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step of placing the mushrooms on the sheet trays and getting them ready for the olive oil. Okay, so a few minutes on our chicken skin. Coming along. Almost there. I think two minutes is going to be just about right. Our skin is nice and brown. Ooh, gorgeous. Place our chicken skin side up. Now, we're into our preheated oven. For 22 to 24 minutes. I'm gonna do 20 and then check. See if we need to go the extra two to four minutes. And we're back. Then about 10 minutes for our chicken and mushrooms roasting in the oven. And I wanna get started on the rest. We're gonna add the collard greens. The pan is hot. Do a little test. It is. In goes the collard greens. Go ahead and season with salt and pepper. Spoon. We're gonna add the orange zest. Half of the oranges and a quarter cup of water. Mmm, you can smell the orange, orangey collard greens. Never would have thought to put those together, but brilliant. Give your pan a little shimmy. It's everything evenly distributed. Almost. <laughs> So we're cooking this four to six minutes or until wilted. And I think most of the water is cooked off. Yes, I knew that. That looks good. We've got most of the water cooked off. I'm gonna check on the chicken. Chicken is ready. Ooh, that skin is nice and crispy. We'll let our chicken rest. We're almost done. And there's one more step after this that I actually want to do before the pan sauce, and that's make the orange salad. Our remaining orange, we need to add the rosemary. It's been draining on our paper towel. All of it? Yes, all of it. Drizzle with a little olive oil. Season with salt and pepper. Doesn't need very much salt. It is orange. That's ready. <laughs> now, we'll be ready for everything to go on the plate. Heat our pan. Go ahead and add our vinegar. Creme fraiche. Quarter cup of water. The chipotle pepper. So I'm gonna taste this on spice level get nice and bubbly. I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit. I don't want it to cook too fast. Ooh. It's got some heat. It does need some salt. Put it pepper. Let's taste again. Not bad. Pretty thin sauce, but it'll thicken a little bit as it cools. I think that's good. Let that sit in the pan for just a minute while I get the rest of the dish pleated. I'm going to plate the mushrooms on Chuck's plate, even though he's not going to eat them. Just so. Looks good. Our chicken, our collard greens. Actually, I probably should have plated that first. 
little bit of our orange and fried rosemary to top it off. Now the pan sauce. Just put a little bit on the plate. And there you go. Our roasted chicken and mushrooms with orange collard greens and crispy rosemary. And I pulled my pants off, sorry. It's a mouthful. Very excited. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's eat.